Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more um, F123 <laughs> and another part of our immersive driver career. Today we are back with uh, the Belgian Grand Prix proper. We had the sprint race last time, um, but look in that bottom right corner. It is going to be wet, which makes this very, very interesting. It's going to be intense. I'm going to absolutely love it. Um, our car is usually pretty good in the wet, so I genuinely think we, we've got a good chance this weekend of getting some more points. We finished seventh in the sprint race, uh, meaning that we start P7 today. Let's try and stay out of trouble lap one and uh, get some more points. That's the plan anyway. Welcome to this visit to the Ardennes countryside. Spa-Francorchamps hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925, and this historic track is loved by drivers and fans alike, and us here in the commentary box too. So it's a warm welcome from the Belgian Grand Prix. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there's no place quite like it. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Perez, the captain, Ocon, Russell, Gasly, Albon, Norris, Sargent, Sainz, Bottas, Stroll, Sonoda, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Oscar Piastri, and Nick de Vries. And now it's time to head down to the track. Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. Let's talk about the captain. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. All right, then. Here we are down on the track. Uh, it does look like it's actually going to stay fairly dry um, throughout this Grand Prix. Um, yeah, I'm a bit intrigued, to be honest with you. Uh, I am thinking possibly let's start on medium tyres. Let's take them a little bit further into the race and switch on to the brand new soft tyres about eight laps through. And uh, fingers crossed with the extra grip we can uh, put in a good performance uh, until the end of the race but we know fine well that rain could well be coming towards the end it's going to be interesting to see if we can stay on top of that uh, obviously quite a few penalties out there as well so a little bit of a mixed up grid here at Spa, we've got uh, Lewis good. Hamilton Gearbox on pole position. Normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes. Warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap, please. And he will feel pretty happy about that, you would imagine. But yeah, we need to get these tyres nice and hot. Most people are going to be starting on the, the soft tyres. I, I think there is uh, a hard tyre runner behind us in George Russell. But uh, you can see certainly that the people around us starting on those soft tyres. That means they're going to have extra grip at the start. But hopefully by the end of lap two or three, we should be at a better pace than those guys. And we'll be able to come back later in the race and grab some final positions. But uh, Sergio Perez won the sprint. It seems to have some sort of penalty. It looks like Carlos Sainz had a penalty as well, which is why he's uh, gone down and, and why Perez is in fifth position rather than sixth. I assume he, he had a five-place grid penalty. Not sure that's actually how it works in real life. I think we'd uh, probably start at fifth in real life. Been a, a very, very exciting position uh, to start from, and would have given us a chance to 
can really compete for the okay, podium today. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. Well, there you go. 10 minutes until the rain. That's a little bit sooner than what I expected. I think good that we're on the medium tyres. means we can go a little bit longer if needed. So here we come then. Tires heated up. And once again, we're going to really aim our car to the right hand side. Okay, okay, good parking there, mate. Now we need to make sure we get a great launch as the race starts. Try and avoid Sergio Perez as we head in towards turn one. Here we go, five red lights. Lights out, away we go here at Spa for race day. And it's a terrific start off the grid. And well, we managed to get past Sergio Perez, but he's absolutely bombed it up the inside of Fernando Alonso and Co. We are side by side with Max Verstappen. Who's going to be the one to yield? As we head into Eau Rouge, oh, 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 that was close. That was close, and well, Max Verstappen very much did not yield there. And here we go, we've got uh, George Russell having a little look at us, and we've got Ocon there as well as Max Verstappen getting right involved with uh, Fernando Alonso and Sergio Perez. That's going to be uh, a, an intense start to the lap for, for those guys and well, just trying to stay off the brakes as much as possible we do not want to lock up and get flat spots we don't need anything like that today we just need to be on it well look at this we are right in the slipstream of Max Verstappen a little bit of ERS we pull to the, ins the outside line, turns into the inside line, and we are through on the World Championship leader. That was a good nice move. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. We are through now. On Max and up into fifth place, and now chasing after two-time world champion Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin. Here comes Max Verstappen with DRS, very next lap. Try and hold it down the inside, but no real luck there. What lap three? Sixth place. We'll take that. Oh, well, there we go. There's George Russell round the outside we might make a mistake and we could still oh the that's close that was very close Fufu. I mean with a braver going into Blanchemont somehow we don't lock up going into the bus stop chicane Max Verstappen and so that's the, the fastest lap of the race so far 1.8 seconds well, it's definitely seemed like the fastest tyre at the moment well, there goes George Russell and yeah, I mean, this weather certainly not looking like rain is imminent. And now Mark's saying 15 minutes. And that little mistake has given us our second warning already here. And that's just going to make things really tricky from now until the end of the Grand Prix. But not able to push to our absolute limit through fear of a three second time penalty. Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Oh, you're 10 minutes 10 now minutes. for rain. Well, I mean... OK, we've got a full course caution. The safety car's out. Keep an eye on the Delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down, maintain positive How Delta. On okay, Earth? I've got a brand new race strategy on your MFD if you want to go and check it out. I have no idea how... Okay, copy that. We managed to get P2 
penalised for that. That is ridiculous. Valtteri's in the pits. And we're going to put the, the soft tyres on. We might as well be in a good position. So here we come, into the pit lane. Five second penalty here as well. And here they come working on the car. Okay, go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we expected. I mean, that expecting. was just ridiculous. I mean, uh, uh, incomplete shock at okay, what got on there. Okay, one stop to go. Just one stop left in this strategy. Well, worn in there. Very lucky. There's the safety car. And there's uh, Stroll or Alonso out of this race. Not sure right, what's happened to him. Our delta's too low and we're going to risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. I'll see you guys once we get to the safety car. Okay, so we've caught up to the pack. Safety, car safety in cars this in this safety lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature. And remember, there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. So we've got brand new soft tyres on. That's going to surely help us to try and get past some of these folks. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite excited for the comeback here because I feel like we were absolutely wronged in that collision. We went to take our defensive line we were spun around managed to keep it outside of the wall and then uh, there was a bunch of cars that of course came and you know nearly crashed into us we got a five second penalty but luckily all of that is out the window now because we are back underway here in belgium more it's time to utilize some of this energy come on and we know rain is coming. We fly down the inside of Pierre Gasly into turn one. And there's one position back already. Good start. Now, need to catch up to Nico Hulkenberg. Throw all rouge up right on. Onto the camel straight. And now, here we go. We're within a half a second of Nico Hulkenberg. And Esteban Ocon battling up front with, I assume, Nick de Vries. And yes, they are side by side, a little bit of contact there. And we managed to, to stay within touch here. This will hopefully be a case of easy come, easy go with uh, Nico Hulkenberg, but not quite just yet. Quite a heavy braking zone here. Oh. We're expecting some rain soon. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. We're expecting rain almost instantly, so you know what's going to happen. We're going to get in there straight away. Use an ERS here. Down the inside of Blanchemont. Oh, we had a big snap of oversteer there. But we are through, and wow, look at that for an aggressive overtake on Nick de Vries. And we're going to keep going with that. Okay, we're approaching the pit window. Aggressive You're style. Going to be on soft. And hopefully, the next tyres we put on will be those intermediate tyres, but still, the sun bakes down on us here at Spa. Frank Champs right in the slipstream of Esteban Ocon yeah it's tempting we can see how much extra speed we've got through those corners but just got to be careful here
Look at that, Ocon going very slow. We go around the outside of the bus stop chicane, and we are through. That was a great move. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. And is that the rain? I think it may well be. Is that the rain? No, I don't think so. Not yet, but it's definitely clouded over now. DRS open. Yep, no, that's definitely rain. There's, you can see it on the halo. Rain has started, and now is the time to find ourselves and find the inner rainmeister. For now, though, we'll be much slower if we move on to Inters this early. There goes uh, Carlos Sainz through. Once again, Mark's uh, recommending that we do not go on the intermediate tyres just yet. Possibly next lap is going to be the one, but you got to think. OK, be mindful of the conditions. The track's getting wetter. Recommend you stay out for now, though. We'll be much slower if we move on to Inters this early. Blanch them on now. Oh, this is going to be pretty close, isn't it? And look how slow everybody is. Yeah, we're going to come in this okay, lap. I want you to pit this lap, so push now, push. But they're all very, very slow in these corners. Well, we killed it absolutely flat out through there. The RS okay, so open. Aware, the grip levels are going to start falling away soon. Push signs wide. And that's okay. Okay, even though we're... Yeah, we're definitely going to be coming in this lap. I know DRS hasn't even been disabled yet, but it is it's getting still slippy. Not a perfect situation, but I don't think we've got cause to move on to a different tyre yet. Just can't get that corner right in the in these race conditions. There goes Carlos Sainz. A bit like Max Verstappen. Oh. Well, we hold it round the outside. We need to Keep get... on him. He might make a mistake. Their first big lock-up. Well, are we going to get penalised for that? I hope not. Well, we're in. Yeah, well, we got warned. For that collision with signs. It's kind of his fault, I think. And we're away. That's it. Go, go, go. Perfect. Let's see, job there's from definitely the there, mate. moisture. With that. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. And this looks okay. I think this could be a genius decision. see how quickly we can catch up to those guys in front it could be a massive undercut if we've made the right choice here yeah DRS disabled that's usually a sign that the stewards think it's too wet for the dry tires but we've only got four laps to go Nobody's come into the pits yet, but you can see... OK, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. You can see we have made up some good time. Kevin Mag... Uh, sorry, Nico Hulkenberg is in the pits. Oh, big lock up into the bus stop chicane. We're OK, though. Is Nico Hulkenberg changing on to the intermediate tyres? It's going to be the big question. Yes, he is. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. 
So the Hulk on to Inters. Look how much time we are making up here. But we're not perfect. We haven't got great downforce here. And actually we've used 10% of these tyres already. Which is bonkers. Inter's definitely the fastest tyres now. You can see how much time we are gaining on the cars in front. Hulkenberg matching our times as well. And now surely everybody is going to be coming in. You can see pit lane's very busy. Some people have stayed out though. And how big an undercut are we going to get? Bonas is in the pits. So here we go, where are we going to come out? I mean, we've fully caught up to Carlos Sainz, who of course we were right next to on track when we came in. So here we go then, we're passing the pit lane, where are we going to get up to? It should be back into the points you would think. And yep, yeah, it looks like we're up back up to 8th position. And there's Bottas. Bottas has come out, a good winner in all of that. Are we going to be able to make it past him here? I'm not entirely sure. But I think everyone ahead of us, except Perez maybe, is on the intermediate tyres. I think Perez will be far enough ahead that... He'll come out in front of us, but uh, look at this. We are right behind Valery Bottas now. There's only two and a half laps to go here. Albon's not far up the road, but what a race for him in the Williams as well. That's what you have to remember. Williams have struggled this season. Eight points would be massive. For them. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. What an unbelievable race. Well, it was actually Max Verstappen that was in the pits, and you can see he's leaving the pits now. Meanwhile, Bottas has pulled away from us here. Obviously he's on much fresher intermediate tyres, he's going to be able to use them a lot better than, than us. But two laps to go. It's currently around five seconds. Well it's Lewis Hamilton that wins here in Belgium, terrific victory for him. Looks like Perez has finished second, possibly. Um, Leclerc in third and well we're coming round and we're going to be finishing in eighth position our tyres have fell off the cliff towards the end of the race but we come up to the line eighth position we'll definitely take that after all that happened in that right, Grand Prix over. take care of the car on the way in And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? Rain always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order. And they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this. But they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Well, very well played to Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc and Perez on the podium with him. 
very good result. Let's have a little look then at the final classified results. Let's have a quick look results. at how the driver's standings have changed. The gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One, so be sure to join us for the next one. Well, there you go then. We consolidate our top 10 position in the championship. Bottas uh, doing a great job as well. We're fifth now in the constructors. And, uh, you know, we've got to be happy with that. Uh, I would like to have a little look at that incident. So that is us coming into the pit lane. So um, perhaps we need to go back from here and see... What on earth happened for us to get clobbered here? And we didn't lose any front wing, anything like that. Let's have a little look. So we're coming out of that corner. We've struggled there all weekend. And well, it's difficult to see, isn't it? Did we come across? Well, you can see we're just sort of. Yes, I think that... Did we have a little bit of... Oversteer? Because so coming through that corner, we've struggled for grip all weekend. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we... But then I turn away from him. He gets on the grass. Catches our back tyre. Sends us round. Somehow, we get no damage from that. Look at this. We go round and we manage to keep it out of the wall, but look at that. I mean, we scrape up against it here. Doosh. Straight into the, the barrier. Some of the guys behind. Oh, well, you can see we're just straight back out onto the track, and I guess that's why we... But then I don't think I was on the throttle at this point. I'd like to look in the... The, the steering wheel. Well, apparently we were in reverse. Yeah, tried to, to get back into... into play. Well, yeah, it was a horrible situation. Luckily, we managed to not... I mean, that did surely did damage it a little bit. Yeah, you can see it sort of dented it. If you just look at the bottom right there, it just gets dented slightly. And yeah, just yeah, obviously not not ideal. And then we come straight into the pits, get a lovely pit stop. And five second uh, time penalty there, but uh, there it is. There, there it is. That is the. End of this Grand Prix, we it all ended well in the end, I suppose. Um, but that was a a very interesting incident. Very lucky to not be out of the race. But we we struggled through that corner, all through race conditions. Weirdly, don't know why. But there we go, and we've got uh, the season break coming up, and that'll be in the next episode. We've got a major aerodynamic upgrade coming as well trying to get us further up the grid that's uh, the plan and uh, of course we've still got um what's that 10 races to go this season starting in holland next time out so if you have enjoyed this video then give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more f1 videos and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye